effect. Well, the temperature on the conversation around COVID and vaccines, it's cooled significantly since 2020 and even from earlier this year. But as I'm sure you all remember, there has been a lot of back and forth, debate, yelling, conversations, whatever you want to call them, all of this surrounding COVID vaccine requirements. And one of those requirements is back in the headlines for you today, and Idaho's congressional delegation is calling on President Biden to make things right. On September 9th, 2021, the President of the United States directed agencies to implement a COVID-19 vaccination requirement for federal employees to, quote, ensure the health and safety of the federal workforce and members of the public with whom they interact. Now, President Biden did all of this requirement by signing in an executive order requiring coronavirus disease 2019 vaccinations for federal employees. And ahead of that, earlier in the year in 2021, the Department of the Defense, basically the U.S. military, while well, the service members, they were also asked and required to get a COVID vaccine or risk removal from their position. More than a year later, though, it looks like that vaccine requirement will be history. There's a provision in the 2023 National Defense Authorization Act to clear service members from the Biden administration's COVID vaccine mandate. End of story. Oh, no, far from it. Idaho senators Mike Crapo and Jim Risch wrote this letter to President Biden this week that says in part, while this is a welcome first step in ending these types of mandates and the harm that they have caused, the provision does not rescind the related penalties and force separations imposed on military personnel nor on all federal employees, end quote. So Senators Crapo and Risch wrote to Biden that he needs to make amends to the service members that were relieved of their jobs because... They chose not to comply with the vaccine requirement from the Biden administration. Now, Rish and Crapo say that the DOD's COVID-19 vaccine mandate is responsible for the discharge of approximately 3,400 troops. And the pair shared a local story with the president on the topic. They wrote to President Biden the following, quote, In Idaho, we have heard firsthand the challenges service members face in complying with the DOD's onerous COVID-19 vaccine mandate. This includes members of the 366 fighter wing who have made the personal decision to not receive the vaccine. As a result, members of the fighter wing have been grounded, issued letters of reprimand, had clearances rescinded, and have been removed from training opportunities due to sincerely held beliefs. And the 366th fighter wing is out of Mount Home Air Force Base here. That's outside the Treasure Valley. So what does Rish and Crapo want done about all of this? Well, their letter asks President Biden that after the passage of the NDAA, any penalties from a service member's refusal to receive the COVID-19 vaccine be expunged from their records and any service member or federal employee who they say was unfairly discharged or terminated due to those mandates, they be reinstated. Now, to be clear, the NDAA, it still needs to pass and get signed by the president, but it will be interesting to see if Biden responds directly to Idaho's congressional delegation. There's a lot of people talking about this saying they believe that the president should right the wrong, but we'll keep an eye on this one and we'll see if there's a response to Idaho's congressional delegation. So again, today is the two year anniversary of the first Idahoans to get the COVID vaccine. But from that point, how many more got the vaccine? Well, let's take a look at some of the Idaho COVID vaccine numbers. We haven't checked on these in a long time. Here's what you should know. 966,684 people are considered fully vaccinated in the state of Idaho. 113,437 people have received one dose of a two dose series and 467,335 people have received an additional or booster dose in total. So. 2,716,867 total doses have been administered in the state of Idaho since two years ago on this day. A reminder, you can still get a COVID vaccine. And COVID, the flu, and RSV are all out there right now. And I'm sure many of you know someone who has caught that recently. So stay healthy. Enjoy the holidays. You can still get vaccinated. Time to get that done.